A record number of migrants entered Europe last month through what are called irregular means, such as crossing the Mediterranean in small boats. The agency that monitors EU borders, Frontex, says it tracked nearly 110,000 migrants, mostly from Syria and Africa, arriving in July, three times more than in the same month a year ago. Well, joining me now is Alexander Betts from the Refugee Studies Centre at Oxford University. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. These figures, on the face of it, look fairly disturbing, but give us some context. It's really important to see these numbers in the broader context. We face a global displacement crisis. More people are displaced than at any time since the Second World War. And they're displaced from countries like Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. And we know from figures by the UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, that the people coming across the Mediterranean and to Europe are predominantly from refugee-producing countries. Now, only a tiny minority of the world's refugees are arriving in Europe. Some 95% of the world's refugees are in countries that neighbour conflict and crisis. And so while these numbers are alarming, while more and more refugees are coming to Europe, it's important to get a sense of perspective. Particularly if you're monitoring this from a country which really can't handle it. One thinks of Lebanon, which, whose population has uh, risen dramatically because of refugees. That's exactly right. There are four million Syrian refugees around the world, but three and a half million of them are actually in Lebanon, Jordan and Turkey. Lebanon, for instance, with a population of just over four million, has over a million refugees. That's an overwhelming number of refugees for a country of its size. And it's really important that Europe recognises that it has to share responsibility, show solidarity for those countries, and that re protecting refugees is a global reciprocal responsibility. And actually, Europe probably needs to do more. Well, perhaps not the whole of Europe. One looks at the, the predictions of three-quarters of a million refugees arriving in Germany this year. What's the figure for the UK? You keep hearing different figures. What's your figure? Yeah, I mean, Europe has sort of disproportionate responsibility for certain countries. So Germany and Sweden do exactly what they should do. They take lots of asylum seekers and refugees. Greece and Italy are hosting significant numbers. The UK, it's much less. So last year, the UK received 23,000 asylum seekers. It gave refugee status to just over 10,000. Many countries did a lot more. The UK is making it more and more difficult for people to arrive in the UK and claim asylum. And it's countries like the UK and Hungary that are avoiding responsibility, shirking their commitment to refugees and have to do more. Well, we have yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'll pick, I'll pick you up on that because you know the argument that they use against that is that we need to tackle this at source and they mm. will finance the, the ways of doing that. Mm. We need a multi-pronged approach. So we have to support frontline countries in regions of origin like Jordan, Turkey, Lebanon, for Somalis, countries like Kenya. And we're doing that to some extent, but we can do more. It's also important to recognise that countries like Jordan and Lebanon are increasingly closing their borders because for them money isn't enough. They need resettlement, they're exhausted at having to take such high numbers. So it's not a good enough argument for us to say we provide humanitarian assistance. We also have to share responsibility for hosting people, not nearly to the same extent as those countries, but symbolically, if we close our borders, it sends a message to host countries around the world that we're not prepared to cooperate, we're not sharing responsibility, but we see it exclusively as the responsibility for the region of origin. It's got to be a shared reciprocal responsibility within Europe across the 28 member states and around the world to support those host states that take the majority of these desperate, vulnerable refugees. Alexander, thank you very much for joining us. This is Alexander Betts from the Refugee.